Okay, so today my plan is to see how many sticks of RAM you really need to mine random X with a fourth gen epic Genoa 12 channel capable chip. Do you need all 12 channels? Do you need eight channels? So that's what I'm gonna try to figure out today. We'll start with the thing full, see what the power draw is, see what the hash rate is, and we'll just incrementally go from there. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually have two more of these chips coming. Do I need to spend, you know, $1,400, $1,500 on 24 sticks of RAM, or can I get by with, let's say, 12? So I am gonna figure that out today. Okay, as you guys can see right there, all the dim sticks, and they're all populated, all 12. Um, and it's starting to ramp up in mine, so I'll let this mine for a sec, and we shall see what we kind of get. Okay, as you guys can see, 85. So 85 and a half or so. And I've been mining this for a while now, so I can tell you, it does dip down to 81, but most of the time, it's, it's at 85 and a half. So let's see the power usage. You got basically 100 or 550 watts. So, and that's including fans. Those fans ramp up and down, makes that wattage kind of go all over the place. But um, it goes down into the 540s and kind of bumps up into the high 550s, low 560s. But I'd say right around 550 watts or so is what it's at. Um, in in the crypto mine, it's a lot cooler in there than it is in here as well. So in Hive OS, we're getting roughly 444 ish, basically 440 per thread. So that's kind of where all the six lie. Now I'm gonna lay this thing down rip out two sticks and see what happens so according to the motherboard instructions you want to remove one if you want to run uh, all but two sticks you want to take one off each outside so that's what we did let's see what happens all right so we're basically at so 550 still basically 550 I mean it drops down to the low you know 40s I seem to hit the high 30s but as it's getting warmer in this room it's kind of staying up there as the fans are kicking up and that is for 81 mega hash it's been staying right or 81 kilo hash it's been staying right at 81 goes up a little bit but never goes out of the 81 mark so not too bad. I'd say you're saving about 10 watts. Um, I know that this thing's showing 550 and I said the other one was 550, but it does dip down into like the mid fours. Like right now you guys just missed it, but it dipped down to 535. So see there it goes into like the fours. So I, you know, it's 550, 545-ish watts before I'd say it was 550 to 555-ish watts. So you're saving about five to 10 watts. And you're losing roughly, I'd call it three kilohash because you're not getting 85 all the time on the other one. But, uh, you know, it does dip down to 81 like this uh, with all sticks. But it does run at 85 most of the time with all sticks. So let's take another stick out and uh, see what happens. Oh, my laptop. Alright, so I pulled out another two sticks, so I got a total of four sticks out, and I'm actually quite surprised at the results here. I'm still 81, still above 420 per thread, and the power draw is still about the same at 545, 550. So I think that's very interesting, and I'm kind of glad I'm doing this right now, because I don't need to buy that much RAM for this. Um, I mean, this DDR5 stuff is super expensive, so I'm gonna pull one more stick out. That would be cleanly splitting 12 dims between two of these CPUs, six and six. And I'm gonna see if we can still keep this 81. 
All right, we just got three sticks aside now. And for power, we have finally seen a dip into the 335 to 339 range. It looks like it'll peak up at 4, 544. But look at that, it's like 330. <laughs> 530, I mean. So, yeah, so we dropped like 10 to 20 watts. And we just dropped below that 420 per thread. Well, we've only added up to basically one kilo hash being dropped for 10 watts off. Honestly, this is not bad. This is this is honestly pretty good. Um, definitely can save you a lot of money when building these rigs if you skimp out on the ram. So can't do it too much, but three sticks per side, so six dims total is enough and five kilo hash honestly is not worth a thousand dollars just about so um when you're talking about multiple servers here and uh, you can save you know half the amount on ram now so i think that's super cool something to keep in mind nice cool little experiment we did today so sweet okay so we're back here with just two sticks let's see how a 9654 does with just two sticks it's a lot of cores it's 96 cores fighting over two channels of memory let's see here it's pulling 315 watts i'm sure it's not mining very good let's see what the hash rate is okay so it two sticks of ram you get a whopping 8.2 kill a hash for 315 watts holy cow that is horrible yeah that's just too many too many cores fighting over the same stick see that they're all like 15 to 20 kill a hash all right let's add another stick all right now let's try it with four dims and see how that works Okay, so we are at 548 watts, 59 kilohash. So that's a lot more kilohash. But now you're at full wattage, and you're still 20 kilohash low because you're missing uh, another channel. So as a recap, six dims of, of RAM is uh, what is best. And that is what I got here. I got all of my 9654 Epics running six DIMMs, and they all do 79 to 80 kilo hash. So that saved me about $3,000 in RAM. A little bit less, but it's probably for six gig, for six sticks, it's probably right around, you know, six, seven hundred bucks. So not cheap. Um, Definitely the way to go is just to half it. You don't need all 12 channels, 6 is good enough. Also, I ran uh, Cinebench with the 6 channels versus the, the 12 channels. And I'll show you those results right here on the screen. So, I was surprised. Apparently, um, 6 channels is enough. Give you guys a little tour here. 7900X. These are all the epics. That's a 9654, 9654. These are all 7900Xs. And these are 5900Xs. And then all of those right there. That's a 7702 dual epic server. The 7742, it's big brother. Those are both second gen epics. And then another. 9654 over there. And then I got one, two, three, forty seventies. So those are all the updates. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to tear all of this down and rework all the shelving 
and power and everything because I'm pretty much over full already. So with all the epic servers in here and computers, I'm over full. So that'll be coming in the next couple months. I'll rip all this down and we're going to redo it. I'm going to go long ways and uh, just fill the whole place up with shelving. So, all right, guys, keep on mining and until next time.